Hi guys, I'm Rob and welcome back to Rob's Model Cars. Now I've got another model review for you guys today and of course it's another Pagani. So what I've got today is another Pico Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster. Now this model is not usually the colour choice that I would choose in buying a model. In fact I've got no other models uh, in my collection in this particular colour. Um, but I've got some plans to, to make some more custom Pagani models and I bought this from another fellow Australian collector through eBay um, for a reasonably good price. Uh, so before I start messing with it, I thought I'd show you guys, give it a quick review uh, and actually show you that it's a really high quality model. So as I said, this is made by Pico. We have reviewed quite a few Pico models. They just come in this plain charcoal grey box just with a little label on the bottom which states what model is inside. Uh, just has a lift off lid like all other models um, and the model does come with a plexiglass display case. So get ready for your eyes on this one. We have the first flash pink model in my collection. So this is the Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster in flash pink made by Pico. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure whether it's too bright for everyone. Uh, it's very pink. So what we'll do, we'll get this out, we'll put it on the turntable uh, and we'll have a closer look at this flash pink Pagani Zonda. All right, so very pink indeed is this model. So as I said, I would never usually um, pick a model and uh, buy it if it was pink. Um, but this color seems very popular as most manufacturers that do uh, lots of color runs of different models all seem to uh, do a, a, a range of models in this flash pink color. Now I can sort of see why it is a very vibrant uh, pink, it's sort of a purplish tint to it as well, but it is very pink. Um, not quite as pink as a Barbie car, but um, I can sort of see the appeal uh, why collectors like to buy these models in flash pink. Um, it definitely stands out in a sea of red and other coloured cars, so I sort of get it now. Um, but anyway, let's start with the base. Uh, it does come on this uh, black leather base with the white stitching. It does have the Roads to Cinque uh, metal cut logo here on the front, uh, and there is a limited edition nameplate on the back. So this was limited to 100 pieces, and this is number two. So this is a very low serial number model. Um, and I usually have uh, always good things to say about Pico models, um, and this particular instance, uh, I have to say the same thing. Really high quality model, uh, super glossy carbon fiber on pretty much right through the whole top of the car the front splitter and the side skirts and the back of the model is all in gloss carbon fiber um, and really the application of this flash pink color uh, is just something else really so um, it really really pops so um, not too bad to actually add a pink model car to the collection. Now we'll start with all the little details so of course it does have photo etch mesh in the front of the model uh, in the side skirt air ducts here, uh, the whole back of the car either side of the exhaust outlet is all photo etch mesh uh, and you do have photo etch mesh either side of the uh, roof scoop as well so no shortage there of details. Uh, nice job on the headlight, they also are all in carbon fibre as well, full gloss, uh, you've got a little photo etched Pagani badge in the centre there uh, you've got the little metal canards either side. We do have some louvers as well here behind the mirrors. So all chinkways have these uh, louvers. The side mirrors also are in full carbon fibre. Uh, super clear plastics are used in the window. Uh, and you do have a metal photo etched windscreen wiper as well. Uh, these side snorkel air vents are also in full carbon fibre. Uh, as is the rear wing, full carbon fibre, uh, and you do have these metal gurney flaps as well on the side. 
Uh, the wing legs also are photo etched metal as well. Um, good job on the tail lights as well, and you've got the three colours, the Tricolore colours around the tail lights, which is something just unique to this particular model. Um, and of course, you can see the uh, the bluish uh, exhaust mufflers in behind there, um, which lead to the four exhaust pipes coming out of the black trim. Uh, and in this one, we've actually got the rear diffuser in flash pink as well instead of carbon fiber. Now, of course, uh, one cool thing about the Zonda Roadsters, the Chinkways, is this big floating roof scoop above uh, the driver and passenger's head. So that's actually got the flash pink stripe running through the middle of it. Um, and that's all carbon fiber as well. So yeah, it looks really quite striking in this color. Um, it's, it's growing on me a lot, uh, and I'm not sure whether I want to modify this model at this stage. I might just put it into the showcase with all the other Zondas uh, and have a think about it. But yeah, this colour never existed in real life. There are no Chinkway Roadsters in flash pink. Um, I was thinking about repainting this model in yellow uh, to be a replica of Dan the Collector in the USA. Uh, he has the green Zonda Chinque Coupe, uh, and he has the yellow Chinque Roadster in his collection, uh, and also he has one of the blue Tricolore Zondas in his collection as well. So, very envious of Dan in the USA for his three Zonda Chin uh, Zondas that he has, two Chinques and a Tricolore. Um, but yeah, so that was the plan, but we'll just put this in the showcase for now. Um, as with all Pico Zondas, great job on the uh, Zonda rims. Uh, this case you've got the little flash pink line around the outside of the rim. Uh, good job on the brake rotors. Happy to note that all the, the drilled holes in the brake rotor are black on this model. Uh, and you've also got the matching pink uh, brake calipers front and rear also. So yeah, really pretty cool. Uh, it does of course have the Tricolore stripe uh, between the separation of the black carbon and the flash pink also. Um, and yeah, so overall, actually a really nice looking model. Uh, these were the, the latter um, releases by Pico of this Chinque Roadster, hence why the carbon fibre is super glossy. And just overall, the quality of the model uh, was a big jump from the very early orange and green uh, Zonda Chinques made by Pico, which had all the matte carbon fibre. Um, so if you're going to buy one of these uh, Pico Pagani models, uh, definitely go for the later versions. Uh, you'll be much more happy with the overall uh, build quality of the model. As I say, I have the orange and the green Cinque Coupes, um, and they are nowhere near built to this level of quality as these newer ones. So definitely go for one of these newer ones. Now, there's not a lot of engine detail to see. You can just see a bit of the top, uh, the silver covers, and hopefully you guys can see that, uh, of the AMG V12 sitting in there, uh, and you can just see the silver cross brace as well above the engine. So that's really all you can see uh, as far as engine goes. Um, but they have a super detailed interior, which I'll show you now. So. Again, we've got uh, hints of pink. We've got pink seats with white stitching. Uh, we've got a full pink steering wheel. Uh, pink in the door trims. Uh, little pink uh, handle pulls on the door trims as well. Uh, it's finished off with the black seat belt racing harnesses. Uh, we've got a little bit of white detailing in there as well. So either side of the top of the dashboard is this off-white color. Uh, and we do have carbon fiber running through the center of the dashboard. Um, really nice with the Roadsters. We've got these rollover hoops which are in full carbon fiber uh, and you've got the center speaker which sits inside the roll hoops. Now that's on both sides. Maybe that's a better view there. You can see that there with the roll hoop and the speaker in behind. Uh, and you've also got the little clear wind deflector there as well in between the two seats. Uh, now the rest of the area behind there is all in the white as well uh, and you've got the Pagani decal or logo on the rear bulkhead of the interior. 
So yeah, a little bit of carbon fibre through the centre console as well, where you've got the handbrake handle and the gear shifter, um, but you do also have the uh, metal gear shift paddles as well. So um, yeah, the interior of this model is really cool. Lots of different colours um, and executed really well as per most of these later release Pico models. So yeah, that's basically about it. Um, I, as I say, I've reviewed uh, other versions, other color versions of this model. I do have the white and black carbon fiber version, uh, which I did a full in-depth review of. So you'll find that video in my uh, diecast and resin model review playlist if you want to have a cl closer look at that one. Uh, and there's plenty more Pagani reviews in there as well if you're a fan of Pagani uh, model cars. But yeah, that's basically going to wrap up today's review of this Pico Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster in flash pink. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, feel free to share the video and don't forget to follow me on social media as well. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, the links to both of those social media pages are on the home page of this YouTube channel. Uh, and you can also check out my eBay store where I occasionally sell models and rare model parts as well. So the link to my eBay store uh, is also on the home page of this YouTube channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's review and closer look at this flash pink Pagani Zonda Cinque. Um, I don't think I'll buy any more pink cars. This is a one-off deal for me. Um, but it may just stay like this in the collection. So who knows? We'll see what the future holds. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more model reviews coming. Uh, we've especially got the new BBR Ferrari Pista Spider, which should be here in the next few days. Uh, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I post when any new models arrive on Instagram first before I have time to review them here on YouTube. Um, but yeah, until next time, stay tuned to Rob's Model Cars.